where he was talking about this article where this guy was saying that it's time for Linux Mint to go. Oh yeah, we yeah. were talking about that at the yeah. top of the yeah. I, I just read that. Article. Yeah, I just read that today. Yeah, I mean, um, it, articles like that, in my opinion, are they don't help. They don't help the Windows new. I mean, you know, for people like me or like us who are a little more experienced. Look, if Linux Mint goes away, it would be a blow in my opinion, but it would harm me, you know, because I'll find another user friendly. It's not that big of a deal for me, but there are potentially, again, a, a 1 billion Linux customers, Windows users who use, who use Windows 10 and Windows 7, potentially can come to Linux. And when we have articles or distros like that that just go away, that's mm. not helping. That's not helping mm. the potential family of Windows. You know, Windows folks who want something potentially better than Windows 10, oh. and, and 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 if Linux Mint goes away, it would it would be a blow to them, not to me. You know, but that's my opinion. Well, I, I, I guess here's my thoughts on it. You know, Linux Mint. It back in the day when I was when I was first saying started with Linux, like Linux Mint, or like as an alternative to GNOME 3. Linux Mint is snappy. It's fast. It's mm -hmm, stable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I think it's a different enough of a project mm -hmm. to not be called like an Ubuntu clone. Like some people like to call it, like it's just Ubuntu with Cinnamon as a desktop environment. Well, mm -hmm. wait a minute. It's based on Ubuntu, but it's commu it's completely community driven. Mm -hmm. Whereas Ubuntu has a, a well, canonical backing it. And so like, I, I think that Linux Mint is completely community driven, which means that its users think it has a place in the world. Right, because they're the ones supporting it. And, and there's nothing wrong with the Ubuntu based. <laughs> yeah. See, I oh. think DT don't like it be because it's stable. You can't have that. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, I saw the I saw the article. I saw the point of the article yeah. about trying to make uh, cinnamon just a Ubuntu flavor. But for someone like me who just over twelve months ago started with Linux Mint, mm -hmm. I found Linux Mint to be completely usable out of the box, mm -hmm. no problems whatsoever on several machines that I tried it with. And I think that's what differentiated it with from Ubuntu for me, because I tried Ubuntu as well, and it, it actually didn't. I had trouble with some of the hardware okay. that I had. Okay. It didn't actually work that well. Okay. And so and yeah. there are actually things in Linux Mint that, that, that they take out of Ubuntu, like the telemetry that Ubuntu has. Mm -hmm. um, they're much bigger on privacy in Linux Mint. And so, yeah. like okay. Ben says, there's enough of a differentiation. Whilst I saw the point of the article, I think that they've they've taken it a little bit too far because if you went if you told someone to install Ubuntu and then install Cinnamon Desktop or another distro and install Cinnamon Desktop, a new a new user's not going to know how to do that. Mm. It's going to be too hard. Yeah. So Vincent, mm. you're only a matter of months into Linux. Just just over twelve months. Me wow. too. Mm. Wow. Well, oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, I probably got. Uh, I probably got a year and a few months. I mean, I feel like I'm babysitting. Oh. Go, 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 Vinzy, go, go, go. No, just kidding. Well, hey, I, hey I, I feel a lot better. In a year, I'm golden. I'll be. There uh, you go. Yeah.